everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be talking about how to wire speakers. So there are a few different types of speaker connectors out there that you might see. Uh, first, in a lot of commercial speakers, you're, you might see something like a Euroblock or Phoenix plug connector that we'll talk about a little bit more. Um, there are also screw-on or barrier strip uh, terminals on speakers. And then there's also sometimes the uh, speak-on connector you'll see on a lot of uh, large uh, pro audio type speakers. Uh, these can be two-pole, four-pole, eight-pole. Um, there's some different variations out there. A speak-on connector would simply require that you uh, basically take your wire and uh, connect it to this connector, plug it into the speaker. Um, but there are some uh, other options as far as how uh, wiring gets connected to the speakers that we're going to show, show you here today. First thing, we need to gather uh, the materials that we need. So we need your speaker. I've got an Atlas FAP42T um, in-ceiling speaker here. Um, you need your speaker wire. I've got some 18 gauge speaker wire um, because we are doing a 70 volt uh, Atlas speaker. You might need something thicker for uh, depending on what type of speaker you have. Uh, wire strippers. Sometimes you need a knife as well. And then a screwdriver. You'll need the screwdriver, um, especially with a Phoenix connector or Euroblock to secure the wire into the connector. So uh, first thing we need to do is look at our speaker and determine the speaker polarity. Polarity basically means positive or negative. So on this Euroblock connector, these do remove. Uh, they are labeled, generally speaking, with a positive negative or a positive negative. Most 70 volt speakers these days do have a uh, pass through, which means basically so I can go into the speaker and then out to the next one. Um, but we need to pay careful consideration and, and uh, take note of where those are labeled. From there, I see my positive and my negative. I'm going to select the ones on the right for this just because I'm right handed and that's what I want to do on this. And then um, we need to prepare our speaker wire. First thing you do to is to uh, strip back your speaker wire. Got another video out there that shows you how to do that if you're concerned or have questions about um, how to go about stripping your wire. I have uh, already done that here and got some uh, leads for my red and my black that are already stripped back. And now I'm gonna take my Euroblock connector. I'm gonna look and I see that these are actually tightened all the way down. Inside this hole, uh, that's where your wire is gonna go. Um, there is a little metal plate and it's sucked all the way up to the top. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver and actually loosen that by going counterclockwise, lefty loosey. Uh, and then I have an opening there where I can put my wire. So I'm gonna take uh, my positive wire first put it inside that connection, and then I am going to tighten up that screw to where it's at least finger tight. And then I'm gonna take my black wire, my negative wire, and put that into the negative beside it. And I am going to tighten that on down. I'm gonna keep an eye on my connections. I wanna make sure I don't have too much bare wire uh, exposed and that I don't have anything touching, uh, cause that can obviously cause a short. Um, because at the end of the day, um, wattage for speakers is ultimately electricity, so we want to treat it as such. So um, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do a gentle tug just to make sure that that wire stays in. It does. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, I don't have anything connected to the pass-through because I'm just doing a single speaker here. Um, and it does look as though my polarity is correct. Red to positive, black to negative. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this back on in. Now we have wired up to this speaker. The other end of the uh, cable will go to my amplifier. Um, it is important to note that when you're doing this uh, Euroblock connection, you want to double check around the speaker, make sure there's not any other notes you need to uh, look at. Different speaker manufacturers have some different specialized notations. Sometimes there's a 70 volt input, sometimes there's an 8 ohm input based on how it's wired up internally. Uh, the Atlas does not have that one on this particular uh, speaker. So basically, we are good to go and we are wired up and if we need to wire to the next speaker, we can use that pass through or we just hook right up to our amplifier. And that is how to uh, wire up to a speaker. If you've got uh, any questions or any projects that we can help with, definitely feel free to reach out to us, www.proacousticsusa.com. Um, drop us a like, uh, feel free to share our video or comment on anything that we can help with. And until next time, guys, I'm Nathan. Take care.